Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the month of November. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, okay? So this could be happening at any time in November. So if it doesn't resonate right now, check it later. This is, this is you know, an ongoing thing. This is for a period of 30 days. So this could happen at any time. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, typically, I focus on love and relationships. We'll see whatever comes up. I read the cards more intuitively. I do use some of the the uh, actual meanings of the cards, but I use my my intuition and um, I listen to whatever I hear, and that's what comes out. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for somebody. This reading is for somebody. You might not be it. Mm. So, freedom, liberation, right? Rising back up, standing up for yourself. It's time to remove that target from your back, right? Maybe it's time to get some new skin. It's the end of a difficult time, right? It is. It's time for you to rise back up, Aries. The worst is over. The worst is over. Mmm. You may have lost hope. But remember that when something changes, there's a reason for it. There's a purpose. Maybe you were being protected. You may have lost faith. But I'm here to tell you that the storm is over by the looks of things. You can only go up from here. Obstacles are being removed because it's 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 time to face your fears. Now that bubble has been popped, right? The bubble has been popped. The protection you may have stayed in a situation to for out of fear because it was comfortable. But now it's time to face some sort of fear. There is. It's like that bubble of protection is gone. You can't do this anymore. They want you to face something. Something needs to be faced. Yeah. You've been stuck, right? You have. You've been stuck. You've been contemplating. You've been in a state of limbo, unable to set yourself free. But it's like you got to face this struggle sometime, right? You do. It may not be easy, but a change has, has been needed for quite some time. Something has been like killing you and you may have been trying to resist something but you can't resist it anymore it's like this this bubble of protection you've been trying to protect yourself from facing something you can't you can't anymore it's like no they're, they're taking it away because they want you to find the strength to accept some sort of change that is needed. Because you deserve happiness. You deserve rich, rich fulfillment. You deserve to receive. It's like, and you knew this was coming, right? You've, you've been trying to 
restrain yourself, right? You knew that this was coming. You knew that the, that you couldn't can't protect yourself from this forever. The card says darkness into darkness. It's the high priestess. Darkness into darkness, the key to all mystery. You guys have been in a period of darkness. But like I said earlier, there's a reason. There's a purpose. Now, now you have to make a choice. It's time to take that next step. It looks like you've been wasting your time in a dissatisfying situation. You may have been expecting something to change. Like you may have been expecting for some sort of growth in a situation that never did happen. You were expecting for wish fulfillment and something that didn't happen, which caused you to lose hope and faith because you didn't get what you thought you were going to get. All the while knowing that you had to make a change. You had to do something. You had to take that step. You've been living in some sort of confusion. You can probably, you know, knowing that you had other options, trying to choose wisely. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys have been really in a situation that is discontent unhappy thinking about your options for sure absolutely thinking about your options thinking about your foundation wanting more I know there's got to be more I want more I want more I want more but staying where you're at doesn't get you anywhere Doing a lot of analyzing. You may be over analyzing what path to take. It's time to make that decision. So Aries, I feel like in this month that you can't protect yourself anymore from something because the star card upright is protection and this one is too, the bubble is around, right? So it's like the bubble, you can't protect yourself from this situation anymore. Change, you've been resisting a change is on the horizon right around the corner. Change is, change is around the corner. There's no doubt about it. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who is detached, overly emotional, withdrawn. There could be some arguments over money. Somebody could be moving. There could be a change in the home. You may decide to take that next step and go a different route. 
because you're looking for balance and harmony and peace and you've evolved. This is a card of transition and transformation as well. This is also a card of purpose. And underneath it's the Two of Pentacles. That's balance, and this is balance. You guys are in the process of bringing balance back to your life after being stuck for quite some time. Harmony and balance is about to come back. Maybe this is you that's been withdrawn and detached, trying to protect yourself. Yeah, you guys have been reluctant to move in a new direction because you lack faith in change, lack faith in change. But all the while, you've been changing whether you like it or not, you have. And now it's time to let go of your worries and your fears and your, your anxiety. And I think that's what you're doing. I don't think you have a choice. I don't think you have a choice. I think that your, your bubble of protection is being popped. And you're about to face your fears head on. You may feel overwhelmed. You go, may go through a period of heaviness. You may feel like this is too much. There's something that you have been holding on to that is really burning you. It's just too, it's too much. It's too much. It's weighing you down. And it's time for you to stand up for yourself. This is the end of that burden. It's time to release some of these responsibilities and some of this baggage that you've held on to. And I think this month, it's coming to a head. It's coming to an end. Oh, yes. It's be some, there's some sort of final decision. It's like a finality, okay? Something is becoming final. You're about to... Refine some sort of balance that has been lost in your life, and it's because you can't your 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 bubble is being popped. You have no choice but to find that balance. Perhaps even stand up for yourself. And if you can't make the decision, perhaps the decision is being made for you. I mean, the justice system, the decision gets made, usually by a judge, right? The decision, a decision is about to be made. And it's a heavy one. It's a heavy decision. It's been holding, something has been holding you back. But whatever is happening, it's going to be a fair and just Change. It's going to help you. It's going to make you happy in the end. You may have been holding on to some power struggles or allowing yourself to feel conflicted about us or maybe even pushing people away. But I think you've reached a point or you're about to reach a point where your happiness is coming, is going to come back. It is. It's going to come back. 
you're about to receive something good. This is this this is gonna be it's gonna bring balance and harmony and good things into your life. You may feel like you're all alone. You may be going through, or you may have gone through a midlife crisis. But it looks like you're about to come out of your shell. And head and head through a new door. Happiness is coming back, Aries. This month, happiness is coming back. Maybe, maybe you are going to even celebrate. It's like all of a sudden. You see the light, or you're infused with light, and extreme happiness just like whew, comes right to you. So, you guys have been through a period of darkness, and I'm here to tell you that that, that period is over. It's over. You are being freed from that period during the month of November. Happiness is coming back. Justice is going to be served in your favor. Some sort of burden or heaviness, it looks like it's going to be released. You have no choice but to let it go. And how is it going to be let go? I mean, we have all these tens. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. And we have another one, too. What was it? Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Ten, ten, ten. Completion, completion, completion. It's a completion of a very difficult cycle in which you were feeling less than stable, secure. You felt like you had a target on your back. You felt like this was so heavy, so overwhelming. You have been overwhelmed. But that time of perhaps midlife crisis, the time of crisis is over. And you're about to get what you deserve from it. You are. Something good is going to come out of this. Because it's going to make you extremely happy. Oh my God. Yes, it is going to make you extremely happy. You're about to be... It's like go through some sort of rebirth even. Renewal. What happens in the summer? Everything grows. It gets renewed. You're about to find, you're about to be, November is going to bring you something very, very positive. You deserve it. It's what you deserve. For facing your fears, right? Maybe you've been focusing too much on your job, on your money, on your coin. Maybe you've become ungrounded and unrealistic. Or maybe you're dealing with a person that is unrealistic and ungrounded. I don't know. And you may have been feeling unstable and insecure. But it's time to start fresh. It's time to begin again. You're about to go on a new journey. 
without all that baggage from the past. You have a major new beginning here starting at one. So be prepared to take risks, have faith, and begin again. <coughs> you have a new beginning here, Aries, and it's going to make you extremely happy. Something is depression, anxiety is being released. We have the Nine of Swords reversed under here. It's being released. Extreme happiness is headed your way with better health. If your health has been bad, your health is going to improve. Your period of loneliness is going to dissipate. You've had this fear of change that has restricted your happiness. You've been held back and you've allowed yourself to be held back because it's safe. You've been through a period of self-doubt and disappointment. But that period is over. Because it looks as though you are going to receive some sort of renewal. Of some sort that is going to bring happiness back but right now a lot of you are doubting it right you're doubting you're doubting what I'm saying aren't you those are both cards of self-doubt That's what's holding you back. Think positive. Your thoughts become things. Think positive and your life will change. Your life is about to change anyway. But if you think positive, it's going to change that much faster. I see your self-doubt. You doubt that things are going to get better. Let go of that fear of change. Fear of change, fear of change. There's big fear, big fear of change. Let go of that fear. Allow yourself to evolve. And things will get better. Just roll with it, okay? Follow your intuition. High Priestess right in the middle. That's the whole basis of your reading, that high priestess. Just go with your gut. Follow your intuition on and, and everything. Everything. You know what your intuition, your gut, first thought. Don't second it. Don't second, you know, don't second guess yourself. Your first thought, go with it. That is the answer. Have faith. The fool has to have faith to start his new journey. Have faith. Take risks. You have a new beginning here in which the baggage that you have been carrying is not coming with you. Let it go. So, Aries, I feel like if your life has been down and you have lost faith, you have a lot of self-doubt. You're feeling stuck. You have been stuck with the hangman. You are transitioning. Transition. You are transitioning from that stuck period to happiness. Happiness is coming back this month. Do I see love? No. I don't. You have to think positive first, right? Remember I said your thoughts become things? You got to you got telling you what I'm a channeler. Law of attraction. 
<laughs> right next to the Think Positive card. That's funny, right? Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. All you have to do is ask. Your life is about to change for the better. The storm is over. You're about to rise back up. Let go of that self-doubt. I will be doing the weeklies again. And the weeklies are uh, going to focus more on predictions on love. That's going to be my focus for my weeklies. You know, who's coming in love, blah, blah, blah. But I need to get these Novembers out. Remember, the timing is fluid. This, this, you, you know, you, who knows when you're going to, you're going to start to f glow again. But your glow is going to come back. Okay, it's going to come back. Believe it. Your thoughts become things. <laughs>